Today is one week since this happened. Exactly one year after my last positive COVID test, I tested positive again. This is of course far from optimal considering that the start of the season is just around the corner. But today I will have my first interval session since I got sick. And I will use that opportunity to give you some tips on how to approach training after being sick. The interval session will be performed together with my good friend Kasper. And I will take you through the session with him. So stay tuned. Okay, so my friend Kasper, he lives about 40 minutes away, so it's a little drive there. This is the third time I know of that I have gotten COVID and none of the times I've gotten any fever or felt very sick. However, it has been a little tiring and the biggest challenge for me the last week has been a headache, which makes me feel, well not good and it has made me a little unsure of when it's okay to exercise. But now I feel, I would say, 98% good. So that's enough for me to uh, try an interval session today. So we'll see how it goes. So hello and welcome to Kasper and Anton's training session. Where are we, Kasper? Uh, Olaf Tufte House. Yeah, it's a great training opportunity to be trained here. He's a two-time Olympic champion, right? Yeah, yeah. Very nice training facilities. Very grateful that I can be training here today on nice equipment. Today, the plan is three by 20 minutes or four by 20 minutes, depending on how I'm feeling. The power is gonna be pretty controlled, so I think it's been gonna be okay. Starting with some warm-up soon now. So let's see. After intervals, I'll take you through the previous days and how I built myself up after the COVID infection. So let's go. First interval done. The 20 minutes, 20 minute efforts are uh, done by doing 60 seconds sweet spot and 60 seconds around LT1. 334 average, so it felt okay. My legs are good. I feel that my heart rate is a little higher than usual, but that that's natural when you have not been training that much for a week. Casper is having his easy ride. Yeah, I'm just watching uh, Throwback to 2020. Kurne Brussel, we have Riedberg in the breakaway. And one of the pool is coming up. Yeah, just a boring ride, so it's been legs. <laughs> it's nice to have some company on today's session. I think I'm gonna go for four four intervals in total today because body feels okay. So, done with intervals. Felt okay. Of course, the power is not uh, as good as it was before I got sick, but I still feel that it could have been a lot worse, so pretty happy with that. Last 20 minutes I had 343 in average uh, on the sweet spot sections I did about 360, so it was quite okay. So yeah, that's it. One hour of cool down now. 
where we'll probably talk a little bit about being sick. Okay, I promised you guys I would uh, talk a little bit about how I chose to get back from the sickness. Even though I don't get a fever or stuff like that, I always choose to take a few days off when I know that there's a virus in my system. That's because the illness often uses some days to develop to its strongest. So I want to limit that development as much as possible. So after two days completely off, I noticed that the COVID wouldn't get much worse. I only had this headache that persisted for a while. So that was a little irritating, but it was not so bad that I couldn't do some easy training. So I decided to have some easy days. I started all over again with one hour the first day, two hours the second day, three hours the third day, and then four hours on Sunday. Today is Tuesday, so that means yesterday was a rest day, and now I can say that I'm almost back to normal. I think the most important thing is to not stress about it because the season is long and if you overdo it while you're sick you can end up struggling with this virus for a much longer time so then it's much better to take one or two days more off than you maybe think you need than to have the illness wearing and tearing at you for weeks maybe months i'm speaking of experience now so always be a little extra careful especially when there's uh, a lot of important races coming your body probably needs the rest anyway, so use it as a way to get your body back on track and take a few days off to be on the safe side. Remember, COVID affects people very differently. So if you have a fever, never, I say never go training. And if you feel more tired than usual, it's also a sign that your body needs to conserve its energy to fight the illness. So that's two symptoms I will look extra out for. Also, if you have symptoms below the neck, such as in your chest or cowing a lot, there's a lot of mucus coming from your chest, then you should also not be training. To speed up the recovery process from any sickness, make sure to get enough of vitamin C, D, and also sink that's important for your immune system to function properly and maybe the most important tip of them all get enough sleep can't emphasize this enough 10 11 hours of sleep is not uncommon when you are sick your body needs as i said to conserve all its energy towards fighting the illness so let your body rest when you can other than that there's really no cure to viral infections if you have a bacterial infection, of course, you would need antibiotics, but they have no effect if the sickness is caused by a virus. How many days off you need is entirely individual. I would suggest you wait for training until you feel ready. And I mean, you need to actually feel ready to train. If you're tired, you're not ready to train. The only person you're fooling if you go before you feel ready is yourself. And I guarantee you, if you feel worse after you started training, it's definitely a sign you started too early, and you will definitely regret it. Progressively more training throughout the days. Gasper doing some cover work post his easy ride. The last session I'm gonna have before I go to Rhodes is tomorrow and I'm gonna have some strength and also some cycling or running. Easy into the travel day and then I have uh, one week of training before the first race of the season which is Rhodes GP. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm hoping the body will still improve and then I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao!